Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to our first international conference today. My special welcome is to Dr. Li Yufa, the Consul General of China, who has kindly agreed to inaugurate the conference as well as agreed for being the chief guest of this great event. Keeping in view the theme of this conference, I don't think there is a, anybody else who could uh, be the person who could fit into this uh, role. Uh, the theme of this conference is Rise of Asia, Challenges and Opportunities. So, I will... Let us now move further and uh, let us now take this opportunity to invite our keynote speaker of the day, Dr. Liu Yufa. Uh, Dr. Liu Yufa, as we all know, is the Consul General of China. He was born in the Jiangsu province in July 1954. He holds a PhD in Mystic, uh, China. Okay. Uh, the third one is what India and China should do to realize the win win development. But I think I'll skip part three because uh, uh, Mystic, uh, China. Okay. Uh, the third one is what India and China should do to realize the win win development. But I think I'll skip part three because uh, uh, Asia is becoming a you know, a self growth center. Currently, we have quite a few centers here, definitely. Japan is definitely one, and uh, China is definitely one, India is definitely one, and the oil rich countries are definitely uh, one part, and ASEAN is definitely one part. But these, you know, regional or sub regional integration process would have to keep the momentum of development. These regional institutions would have to keep growing, keep closer. Then we will think of the rise of Asia. As, let me come to one question. Has Asia rise? So, uh, wherever, especially in Fiji, half, more than half of the population are originated from here. So, uh, uh, in, in the U.S., you have more Indian nationals uh, than the Chinese, definitely. And in China, more people are coming back. They are the, we call it, uh, scarce commodity. Because you would never, they get trained and education in the West. They, they have established the market connections, <coughs> the technology connections. They bring the capital back to China and to India, I think. The trick is, both our governments would have to implement more, <laughs> and the overseas importers and exporters, including those from India, they pocket away every cent in terms of profit. But according to the traditional the theories of uh, trade dollar clutching, those trade belong to China. Are you getting the picture? Let, let me tell you the, uh, the net figure. In terms of trade, for every dollar that leaves China, in terms of profit, China retains 12 cents. I'm telling you the figure, not the 